So Padraig got to, to 14 under. Alker did birdie the third. That helped the cause. Yeah, good putt here. Just drips it over the center. Alker from the bunker at nine now. Yeah, good lie. 110 front. And the lip of the bunker didn't cause any issues because of that number 133 total. And good what shot. a play, Lanny. Yeah, that was a good strike. That was right on top of it, too, Billy Ray. He's got the irons on top of it, looking like he's, sw he's swinging. Super slow-mo camera technology presented by Holland America Line. Yeah, and watch this. Even this right shoulder is right on top of this thing, just driving right down. Going to make good contact with the ball first there. Nothing underneath flippy at all, and the club comes out left. Exactly what you're looking for. That's textbook for Stephen Alcorn. Stephen Alker for birdie at the ninth. He gets 18 under. In a perfect position after a wonderful fairway bunker shot. Oh, yeah. Here we oh go. Oh, my. Well, Billy Ray, he told you he's going to get the second nine today. Maybe this is the start of it right here at nine. Don't know if he can get this back anywhere near the flag, but he would love to have it on the putting surface. That was a pretty good strike, Billy Ray. Hard, too. That was a fantastic strike on a good line as well. Oh, are you kidding Did me? Did not see that coming. That is an outstanding shot by Stephen Alker, Billy Ray. Wait, he went at this one so hard. Watch this through the shot if we stay on it long enough. I mean, number one, he's coming down, sets it, but it picks it just right off the top beautifully. Let's see how much. Carries the lip pretty good, but watch the if we stay on the finish. I saw him get a little bit off balance here through the shot. That's how hard he was hitting it. Yeah, I'm thinking he's got to land it between the front edge and the flag, no question. Ooh, he nipped it off there pretty good. And it's going to have to get down there. Yeah, and it releases. Look at this. Wow. Wow, that's actually over the back of the green. Still yeah. going. Yep, and put himself in no man's land with that number there. His brain's thinking, okay, give me a four here and let me get to the par 3 13th. All right, this looks good. This looks good. Really good. Got that out there one left, left or right. Oh, hey, look at this. What a putt that was. <laughs> well, we questioned it, and he answered it. That was special right there. Like the rest of us, Alker has seen low scores here through the years. This ball's definitely going to bounce a little bit. Well, it came through there pretty good, but he came up there left, and that was not very well done. Oh, what a putt, Billy Ray. I got to tell you, he is not making it easy on himself right now. No, he's in grind mode. And that's, you know, there are days you've just got to be in grind mode. That's what it is. Left of the flag. <clears throat> really needs to hang on. Don't go too deep. It did. And that's not where he wants it in that bunker. That is a big mistake. Alker bunkered at 15. Billy Ray. This is very doable on the upslope. Billy Ray Pretty called quick. this. Oh, it just kept going, Billy Ray. It's so fast down there. Yeah, it's still a very good shot. Now he's got that par putt back up the hill. That is huge. <laughs> that is some up and down, Billy Ray. Wow. Mm. Great bunker shot and even better putt. How confident and authoritative was the stroke there? No doubt about it. Just a short little pitch. 79 yards, struck it nicely. Is it enough to get back there? No, it pulls up short. A little bit more so than he wanted. That's got to be 20, 25 feet. Right on track. Not that bad of a look, though. He hammered it, Billy oh Ray. Oh, my. Why did he do that? Two in a row. Made one from about that length for a par save from the bunker back at 15, and Alker coolly sinks another one. After choosing the layup here at 18, Alker ready for his third. Perfect lie, just 80 yards left here for Steven. Needs to be left and short. Oh, and it's right and long. What is he thinking? My goodness. Have it not get there. Pretty well done. He's still got a little work, though. Mm. It's not dead yet. Get money, get yeah. That was a hard fault win for Steven Alker. I'll give him credit. Yeah, I'm not sure I dropped the putter on that one. I would at least uh, 
enjoy the win, but that was a lot of work, a he lot of unnecessary work. Had to sweat it out, but Stephen Elker takes down the season-ending Charles Schwab Cup championship. Last year, he lifted the Charles Schwab Cup. This time around, he secures the tournament title. What a way to close out the season. For the second straight year, Stephen Elker saved his best for last. All right, Stephen, start the day, four-shot lead. Stand on the ninth hole today. Ernie Ellis has almost caught you. Had a one-shot lead. Drove it in the bunker left over there. Hit an incredible fairway bunker shot and made birdie. How comforting was that moving into the back nine? Yeah, it was huge. Um, you know, just trying to get my swing together a little bit. It wasn't quite there today. Um, but that, was, that putt was huge and just kind of settled me down. I had a great tee shot on 10 and kind of felt good after that. So um, I made it exciting here at 18, but uh, <laughs> it, that wasn't the plan, I'll tell you. So. Laying up there, and did you ever think you had that one-shot lead when Lena and I were talking? I thought you should probably lay it up as well. Did you ever think about going for it and taking any guesswork out at all with that second shot at 18? You know, Troy and I talked about it straight away, and he just gave me the percentages. He says, you lay up to 100, you're going to make 75% of the time, you're going to make four. So uh, that was the plan. You know, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to, I just had it a few yards long there. But, um, yeah, it never really entered my mind. You know, it was a perfect five iron, but... Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't need to, yeah. Yeah, it was, it's always very difficult to win on the PGA Tour Champions, but uh, you look back at this year right now, you've been through some ups and downs and, and a terrific year. You get the win here at the final term of the year. What does this do for Stephen Alker as, as a player and as a person? Well, you know, it's, it's another win. That's the first thing. Uh, that, that's huge. And to beat these guys and be this company, and as I said, it's, yeah, it's hard to win out here. You know, it's, and so... To get another one, I've been stuck on six for a while, but right. to get another one is great. Uh, but it means a lot. You know, obviously we're the family and friends here. And uh, Troy, um, you know, after, after Sam passed, it, he's, been, he's been a stud. He's been a stud. And... Um, I'm glad I got a flag from him today. It was, that was huge. You know, and you speaking of that, Sam, he, he was there for a lot of those wins, and he means, means a lot to you. And, and as, you, as you reflect back on that, I'm sure that probably had a playing influence as, as you were walking up here and also uh, start of the week, uh, maybe playing for maybe a little bit for Sam there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, just you see the signs around and people talking and, um, you know, go Sam and, and go Astros. I heard a lot of that this week. So, you know, he, he was here somewhere. And... Um, Hi to the family out in Houston out there. And, um, but yeah, it's great to hear this one. You know, you become that player now that has uh, put himself in elite status on the PGA Tour Champions. You know, you look back uh, maybe three years ago and where you're at right now, you've really come full circle and, and now becoming one of the uh, dominant players here on the PGA Tour Champions. In your wildest dream, could you imagine where you're at right now? No, you know, another multiple win season. Um, you know, I didn't get it done this year. Stricker had a, an amazing year. He just, you know, it was phenomenal. So we're chasing him all year. And uh, But to get second after going first last year, I think that it means a lot just to keep the consistency and, you know, get a couple of wins. It's, it's nice. But, uh, you know, the guys are just getting better out here and just pushing harder. So you just got to try and get a little bit better every year. Congratulations, man. Thanks, Billy. Appreciate it, man. You bet.